Hi, I'm Courtney Johnson from ManageShooter.com and thanks for joining us on this episode of Making a Shooting Horse. Some of you might know, this is Stella. I purchased her about five months ago and she is my up and coming shooting horse project in addition to a second horse to have around the ranch for some trail riding. Um, she is a shooting horse. I've competed off her once. I've shot off her. Um, she's great with gunfire, but what this horse really lacks is a lot of self-confidence. She's pretty worried about a lot of things that are going on, especially in the competition arena. So one of the things we've been doing this summer is I've just taken her on the road with me when we've been competing, and she's just gone everywhere around the Pacific Northwest, which is a really good life experience for her. And so to get her some more life experiences, today I'm gonna to be taking her on a nice long trail ride. We are at Rustler's Gulch, which is about 45 minutes north of Spokane, Washington, in between two lakes along the Little Spokane River. This is a great trail system because it's got a lot of variety and a lot of opportunities for some life experiences for Stella here. There's a couple water crossings, which we're gonna do um, right out of the gate. There's some narrow trails, there's uh, lots of logs that are down, there's some canyons and gullies for her to go in. So this is just giving her some really um, positive confidence building skills and life experiences that should transfer into the competition arena. So this is the second time I've brought Stella to this exact water crossing and the first time was four months ago and we haven't really done a ton of work with water since. And so to have her pretty willingly walk into this creek is pretty awesome. She snorted a little bit at it, but other than that, she didn't need a ton of encouragement to get in it. So it's just showing me that just taking her places and giving her some life experiences has done a really good job over the summer. This is a tree tunnel, and for some young horses and inexperienced horses, this could be pretty scary. So the thing I'm liking about Stella is that she's very willingly walking through this tunnel. No big deal. No confidence issues here. I know some of this trail stuff might not seem like it relates to mounted shooting, but it really does. When you add speed to any horse event, any holes in their basic foundation are going to show through. So this is basic solid horsemanship. I want a horse that's really great at the basics and then I can add all that cool stuff like mounted shooting later. I want to make sure that she is confident and has got a solid foundation. So riding through these thick trees, riding in these little ditches between rocks. I know it's lame. It's not exciting. So it might be a little bit boring, but enjoy the scenery enjoy that you're putting a solid foundation on your horse you're getting their feet in the right places you're getting their brain engaged a little bit more they have to think it's getting them out of the arena and you're really setting yourself and your horse up for a lot of success in the mounted shooting arena remember if you don't have that solid foundation you are not going to have a very successful shooting horse Well, we had a really great ride. We had a really confident, positive, uh, self-esteem boosting ride with Stella here. Um, lots of wet saddle pads and lots of good, confident rides like this are gonna make her an awesome mounted shooting horse and hopefully a champion someday. Thanks for watching this episode of Making a Shooting Horse. For more information about how to be involved in the sport of mounted shooting, be sure to tune in next time and don't forget to check out mountedshooter.com for more resources. Thanks for watching, I'm Courtney Johnson and we'll see you next time positive trail ride for Stella and blah, 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 transfer into the mounted shooting arena mm -hmm. job and I'm hoping that